All right, so welcome back to the Stintech Space Rescue Compound. Now, as you can see, the wall goes around now, a quite big area, but to be honest, when I'm looking at it, I keep thinking, you know, this area is not big enough. We're gonna fill this up super quick, super soon, but for the time being, at least, it's okay in size. Now, today's episode, I wanna get a foundry built because what a foundry or a forge, a forgery or, um, or a smeltery as it is, I think it's called, yeah. What a smeltery can do is help me make Tinker's Construct tools a little bit better. So, to start that, I need some grout. Now, let's take a look at how we make grout. So, let's see. Grout. Is that grout? There we go. Now, grout is used for making seared bricks, which are used for the smeltery controller, the smeltery drain, tanks, bricks, glass, windows. Casting tables, faucets, basins, channels, all of this stuff basically needs loads of seared brick. So how do you make seared brick? You need grout, which is sand, clay, and gravel. Right, so I'm going to need some spades to go and collect these three important materials. Oh man, I've still only got stone and no cobblestone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and dig up some cobblestone to turn into shovels. Actually, you know what I, I could really use is maybe some sapphires or some jewels from down in the mines, but unfortunately I don't have any of those, so I'm just going to dig up some cobblestone for the time being. Because once I get some tools, I can start farming for reals, start mining for real, and get, get some seriously cool loot. Now you guys mentioned that I'm using pickaxes, which suck, because in Tinker's Construct you can make something called a hammer which is a badass alternative to a pickaxe. And what it lets you do is just bash blocks in a three by three grid. So if I was bashing here, it would take out these six blocks here, plus two on the, plus three on the left as well, for like a, a three by three grid. So let's see, that's enough, that's enough cobblestone to make myself some shovels. Right, lock stock, ready to rock. I've probably got enough sticks. Oh yeah, there we go, another shovel. So three shovels should net me all I need to make grout and seared bricks. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some more chests as well, because I need some chests desperately to store all this crap in my inventory before I go out on an adventure. Right, okay. There we go. And I'll put the storage chest, I reckon, ooh. Probably about here. Looks like a good place to me. Right, and in go the bluebells, the ashes, and all this crap that I won't need when I'm out on my adventure. Right, but I'll keep the gravel because I need that for grout. Also, I'm going to take some coal and some wood, I think, to make some torches because I could use some light if I get caught out when it turns to night time. Okay. Blam, 24 torches should be enough. Right, so let's go and find some clay, some sand, and some gravel. Okay, now I knew I saw some gravel down here, and that's right. Here's some gravel, so I'll just grab this up quick. And just make sure I get plenty to make enough seared bricks to make all of the smeltery controllers and tanks and faucets that I need. Okay, I reckon about a stack of gravel should see me fine. Oh yeah, that's all the gravel taken care of, and I should have, oh, what's that, a stack and 26, which is plenty, but uh-oh, the sun is setting, so I'm just going to grab 40 winks inside my house until tomorrow morning, and then I can get on the hunt for clay and for sand. Right, so it's next day already, and I'm going to need some sand anyway to make more glass panes for my windows on my house, because as you can see, I can see out into the, oh, it's a beautiful day, and it's a beautiful view out these windows, but the problem is, if there's a skeleton out there, he'll be able to shoot in at me and take me out. So I need to get some glass panes in there to protect me from all the vicious ghoulies and ghosts in the night. Now there's, oh yeah, I forgot. There's, there's no way out of my compound. Well, I'm gonna put an entrance down that I can change at a later date. I reckon I'll put the entrance over here. This is a nice flat space. 
a nice even flat space. So I'll get the wooden pick. Here we go. And this will be the entrance to my compound. Now I'll come back and clean that up at a later date. But for the time being, it's time to grab some sand. Got some over there. And if I keep following the coast around, I should come to a zone which has plenty of sand sooner or later. You can always find sand and clay at the bottom of riverbeds. So that's what I'm going to follow around. But I want to get away from these frozen biomes because, well, all the water's frozen and I don't have to break through all the, all the ice to get to the good stuff. Right. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's some sand over here. Sweet. It's just what I need. Now I'm going to need about a stack of this as well. Because if I remember rightly, the pattern for making grout is, yeah, about four gravel and four sand make eight grout. Now I shouldn't need too much clay because that's only a minor part of the mixture. I'll still need about a, a ooh, half a stack or so, but nowhere near as much as I'll need the sand and the gravel. Oh, I can't wait to jump into Tinker's Construct. Now I've seen Duncan and Lewis and Simon use it, but I've never made a forgery myself. I never made a smeltery myself. So I don't know what kind of cool tools we can make. I know that there are sides in this mod pack, I'm pretty sure, or at least I think there might be. In fact, let's take a look in the items menu and see what we can make with a Tinker's Construct bench. Now the scythes here, they're good for getting seeds. What else can we make? We can make excavators. Oh, what's an excavator for? I don't know, we'll have to look this up. A cleaver, I guess it's a massive kind of sword. A paper scythe. Oh no, these are just normal scythes, just out of different materials. Battle axes, hammers. Oh, I wonder what an excavator does actually, I'm pretty curious now. A cutlass. Oh, cool, so we can be pirates. Chisels that let you make make stone brick and things. What else is here? A lumber axe. A mattock? Wow, what the hell's a mattock? I don't know. A short bow. A potion launcher. Oh, sweet. And daggers. All these cool kind of things. Okay, sweet. I can't wait to jump into the Tinker's Construct mod pack and start making some of these cool tools. Oh, there's some sand in there, but what's that stuff there? Steaming. That means it could be good or it could be bad. I don't know. I'm going to stay away, but I need clay more than anything. So I'll keep following the river until I find some clay. Problem is, clay is so hard to find in this because it's just, it's, it's, it's a weird color and it's under the water. So it's difficult to find it and mine it. Because look, when you dig stuff that's underwater, it takes twice the time. But I guess it makes sense because, well, have you ever tried digging underwater? I haven't, but I bet it's pretty hard. Oh, we're back at the lava biome now. Let's stay away from this one because, oh, it's, it's bad news, I think. Could check out the ship, though. Let's see what's going on over here. Make sure... Well, the guy still hasn't come back for it yet, I guess. It's still bits of it hanging around. I think I saw some water over here that we can take a look for clay in. But it looks like... Oh, the sun's high in the sky. Oh, whoops. The sun's high in the sky, so we should be okay for a while. Oh, just stay, give this... Give this lava a wide berth, I think. Now, what's this stuff? Nope, can't shovel that. Can shovel this, though. Lovely. Oh, now, I better be careful. I'm getting too cl too far away from home. Now, I can remember my way... Oh, I should have put a waypoint down. I can remember my way back, I think, pretty much. But there's no clay around here. Where is all the clay? Clay is so hard to find these days. Maybe I should be looking at the bottom of the riverbed rather than at the side of the coast. Oh, meanwhile, it looks like the sun is setting as well, so I better be careful I don't get caught out at night time. But, oh yeah, there's the flower biome. That's where home is. It's where the heart is, but it's not where the clay is. That's out here. I've got to find some more clay. Nope, that's not clay. It's so hard to see what's clay and what isn't, especially from above the water. Okay, the sun's definitely setting now, but I've only got four clay balls. That could be trouble. I better get back to base. Hopefully I'll find some clay on the way. But if I don't, well, I'll just sleep the night and go in the other direction and see if I can find some clay that way. Ah, home sweet home. Night's fallen, but I should have enough time to get inside the house before anything nasty spawns. Except, of course, slimes, which spawn round the clock and just fall down onto my house. Oh, I'm going to have to clean the roof at some point. That's going to be covered in blue slime. 
Actually, what I will have to do is take out that island at some point as well. It's going to take a lot of shovels, I guess, or a lot of TNT, but it'll be well worth it. All right, day three, I think, is this? Yeah, that's right. So now I need to get some clay. I've got the sand, I think. Oh, yeah, two stacks of sand. That should be plenty. And one stack and a half of gravel. All I need now is the missing ingredient, clay. Got to find a biome that's going to give me enough clay because I haven't got any from the frozen forest over there and I didn't really get much from near the lava biome or the river just to the left. So I'm going to have to find a river to the right, I think, and see if I can find some clay. Hey, little rooster dude. Now, actually, looking at my health, it's a serious problem that I've got no food on the farm. Oh, did I hear a skeleton? Nope, don't think so. Yeah, oh, better be careful. Ooh! Oh, and I've already got that hat, so your life is safe, Mr. Rooster. Whoa, on the other hand, though, this guy... What are you wearing, my friend? Oh, holy crap! I want one of those! Give it, give it here! Oh, yeah, a winter cap! Ah, oh, just, that's just the thing for the weather outside here at the moment. It may be warm in Minecraft, but it's super cold in uh, in merry old England. So I'm going to find that winter hat. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Just the thing. I look like a real cosmonaut now. Okay. Now let's find some... Oh, yeah, there's good... Oh, look at this. Look at this. Is it the good stuff? I think it is. I think it might be. That's right. It's clay. Oh, nice. In fact, there's so much here, I might even be able to make some red brick or some fancy kind of cool brick to used to build the smeltery building because of course we're going to build a smeltery but every cool smeltery needs a cool building on the outside to make it look sweet and i've got a few ideas of how i'm going to build my foundry my forge so i can't wait to get stuck into that okay so is this going to be enough clay let's see three stacks of clay balls i reckon it better be it's time to head back to base and make some seared brick now, like I was saying, I'm going to have to find a way to farm up some food. Oh, oh, that was a skeleton. I did hear a skeleton earlier. Oh, damn it. It's okay, though. I'm safe. Now, I'm going to have to find a way to farm up some food so that I can regen health and stay safe in the night. And I think forestry is part of this mod pack. So let's take a look, see, what's, see what my options are. Is there any... Uh, uh, so, let's see, engine-wise. If we look at engines. Redstone engine, Sterling engine, combustion engine, kinetic engine. But there's no forestry stuff. Okay, let's see farm. Is there any farm? No, there's, there's farm land. But there's no farm blocks. Oh, no, so there's no forestry in this mod pack. You know what that means? It means we're going back to traditional farming methods. Right, so, grout. Let's see how you make grout. You make grout with sand in the corner and gravel on the sides. So let's see, sand in the corner, like this. Gravel on the sides, just like this. And of course, clay in the middle. Oh no, I've got to make the clay into bricks first. Bam, 32 clay, should be enough. But I might as well use all the balls that I can, just for good measure. There we go. 44. So now gravel. Sand. And clay. Make. Oh, yeah, the good stuff. Grout. Now I've got two stacks. That should be plenty. I can make even more, actually, if I split the gravel better. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at this. Two stacks and 40. That's great stuff. In fact, I'm going to use all the gravel that I can. And there we go. Plenty of grout. Okay, I'll put some wooden logs there. That should work. And I put grout in there. And bam. And I'll just use this last furnace to cook the rest of the grout too. Easy. Okay, we've got eight glass here. That should be enough to make these panes. So let's just do that and fill in the windows. Bam, 16 glass should be fine. So let's just plonk these in around the sides like this. And like so. And there we go. I think the house is finished, pretty much. We haven't got a second floor. And in fact, the whole thing is, it's, it's honestly, it's a bit crappy. But it's early beginnings because I haven't really got the materials to do it justice. 
So now let's try making a hammer. And what we're going to have to do, I think, is go mining to get materials to build the smeltery. And that's where we're going to put the... We're going to have a big forge building up here, I think. And I'll just... Oh, oh look at this area. It's so uneven. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to clear out all the dirt, all the trees, and all the crap. I'll use a scythe as well to reap all the seeds. I'm just basically going to just clean out all this area inside the walls to give me somewhere to build my forge on next episode. I didn't want to make the area outside completely flat. Variety is the spice of life, and a little up and down would be totally fine. But I needed to trim off the top of this hill just outside my house to make room for the smeltery chamber. I'd made a bunch of stone axes, shovels, and picks, especially for clearing out this area. I could have made tinker's tools, but without a smeltery, you're stuck with only wooden or stone versions. And I wanted to wait until I had the materials and a smeltery to make the real thing. I left a gap in the floor of this hill, which would become the floor of the smeltery. I then filled in a small hole on the right of the compound with some dirt that I collected. and started to trim away the small hedge trees with my stone axe. And once most of those were gone, I set to work cutting down the forest I'd planted in episode one of the series, but that's something that took me a long, long time. However, once my axe had carved its way through those wooden trees, it was time to come back and add the finishing touches by eliminating all of these small one block, one log hedge trees that litter the compound. Now with the area cleared, I wanted to do one more final thing before signing off, and that was construct a mine entrance. But then, just as I was building, a King Slime spawned! Action stations! Now, being close to a slime island, I knew this was a possibility but I hadn't expected an attack so soon. I thought I was in for a tough fight, but well, King Slimes are actually kind of crappy, it seems. I nervously approached him, hopping along the wall, but all it took to finish this sucker was three measly whacks of my stone hammer. And bam, one iced joker, extra sprinkles. And luckily enough, the fiend had dropped for me a slimy hatchet. Awesome. So I went back to finish off the outside of the mine, using logs, wooden planks, and fences with the wood I got from chopping down that massive forest. And then I finished up the path with some stone slabs and added a few cobblestone walls for decoration. And there we go, the compound is looking much cleaner. It's still a little bit messy, with the grass texture having those white flowers, but that won't be much of an issue when more buildings and roads go in and I populate the compound with more non-grass things. But that's it for this episode. I'm gonna get some sleep before this zombie busts down my door. Next episode, I'll construct the smeltery building, the smeltery, and finally make some cool tools with Tinker's Construct and go mining with them, hopefully. Hit like and favorite and subscribe. And until next time, guys, take care.